Well, you know, we, we women, you have to pack for rain, for the sunny day, for that's cold, for the night. It adds up quick. You need just a little. When was grocery store? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I agree with you. I agree with you. You ready? You rolling? I'm rolling. Okay, you two. Uh, what's up? Are you ready? Okay. YouTube, welcome back to my channel. This is Hank Strange. Special guest here, Jeff Quinn, Gun Blast. Okay. This is one of my inspirations for what I do with my channel. Thanks for letting me interview you, Jeff. Go ahead, Jeff. Go ahead, yeah, so have you seen anything really, really cool that sticks in your mind? I haven't seen before? anything that I hadn't already heard about or seen before. Uh, of course, a little Glock pistol, that's hot, everybody's mm -hmm. up on it, because Glock's finally doing a 380. Yeah. Uh, you know, in the U.S., they've had a 380 overseas for a long time, just the first one here. Right. And that's a big talk on the show floor, but other than that, nothing really, uh, all that innovative. Uh, I did. I was at Red Jacket yesterday, and they've got a uh, suppressor for the kel shotgun. Oh, Which really? Is really cool. Oh, cool. They've got yeah. a device where it just slides and locks right on. And uh, oh. if you haven't seen the kick, you ought to get over no, there. No, I have to go that. check that out. Yeah, they're on the second floor. On the second floor. Oh, red jacket. Red jacket car. Okay. Did you get a chance to shoot the Glock 42? I did. What do you think about it? Well, it shot well. You know, the recoil was handled the recoil really well, just like all Glocks do. You mm -hmm. know, it's comfortable to shoot. It's, you know, smooth as a one bar of soap, so mm -hmm. they don't cut your hand or anything. Right. Shot really well. It's a little bigger than the Ruger LCK in the little car. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, being bigger, it'll be easier to shoot for people. Right. So is that something you'd be interested in? Probably. You know, I'm bad about, you know, if I, if I get a gun in that works, I usually just pay for it and keep it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> easier, easier than boxing it back yeah. up sitting there. Exactly. Okay. Well, you know, like I said, I'm a big fan of yours. And, I, and you know, I'm, I'm thinking about that from a fan's point of view. So I just want to ask you, how did you actually get into doing YouTube videos? I know your your, your brother works with you and does a lot of yeah. background stuff. We did. Uh, we started Gun Blast. Uh, it was just an online magazine back in 2000. Mm -hmm. When we started it, I read some crap in a paper magazine. Mm -hmm. You know, right across the page from was a big ad for that item. I thought, you know, this is crazy. I said, Asked my brother, and I didn't have any internet service or computer. Mm -hmm. I said, if I can write about a gun, can you put it on an internet thing? Mm -hmm. And he said, sure, I can do it. <laughs> well, then about four years ago, you know, we've always had good pictures. You can click on them. Yeah, and things I love paper, your pictures. Ma paper magazine can't do. Mm -hmm. I asked him, I said, can we do videos on our website? He said, well, yeah. So why haven't we been doing it? Yeah. Well, that's something a paper magazine can't do. Yeah. So, and people love a video. You know, when we started, we started doing like a little minute and a half, two minute video to drive people over to read the article. Mm -hmm. They don't want to do that. They want everything in the video. So yeah. now our videos jump around 10 or 15 yeah. minutes. Yeah, I love that. Out. I mean, I, I lo especially what sticks out the most in my mind is the video where you wrapped up a pork chop, pork chop, yeah. excuse me, uh -huh. and uh, Dan Evan and everything was shot. It was awesome, you know? Yeah, well, you know, we had people, I, for a long time I've been recommending if you live inside an apartment building, you know, a bird shot is good. Because across the room, it just make a rat hole. You mm -hmm. meet a lot of people, they don't believe it. Mm -hmm. They say it'll bounce off and all that stuff. So we did that to prove, you know, it's like a, a rack of pork ribs and mm -hmm. denim outside and a big shoulder behind it. Mm -hmm. And you can stick your fist in it. Mm -hmm. You know, where it's done. But, uh, yeah. Some people still argue about it, but it works. Yeah, know? absolutely. It's great. Now, lastly, I just want to, you know, you were supporting the Second Amendment before it was cool for a lot of people. Yeah. You know, you've always been flying the flag. I love the flag in your videos, you know, come and take it. Um, I, I feel like there's a lot of people that think this whole thing that we had last year with firearms has quieted down. Do you think it's quieted down? Well, the uh, production is catching up. You know, the panic buying is not mm. there like it was. Uh, people are paying way too much money for mm. ARs and way too mm. much money for ammo. But uh, uh, some of the ammo is getting more plentiful. It's going to be long run, you still can't find it anymore. Yeah. But they're, they're, the companies are making it fast. Everything to just bind it up. But uh, yeah, the other lot of the interesting thing when we come and take it flag, we had a Second Amendment rally in Nashville, and I mm -hmm. had one on top of my suburban, mm -hmm. and somebody came and took it. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I told my brother, I said, well, it's said, come Get, and take it, you know. So, give Jeff his flag back, please. Oh, okay. I got another one. I got, oh, you got another one? one? Yeah. Oh, you've got extras in case yeah. someone actually comes and takes it. So do you think that, I mean, you, you think we should still be vigilant, right, and keep fighting Always. the Second Always. Amendment? Yeah. Don't There's a lot relax. of politicians that, um, that they'll use any crisis they can to take advantage of it. And you know, well, like when the Sandy Hook thing happened. Mm -hmm. You know, they said the first video you saw was the police helicopter that was taking the guy's rifle and stuff saying, all right, mm -hmm. it was Trump. Mm -hmm. He never carried it in there. But the, you didn't see that anymore. It was, right. They kept saying he was using an AR and he yeah. didn't do it. You know? 
yeah. it's going to get served their purpose. Yeah. And a lot of people in the country, you know, you got the, the Second Amendment supporters, mm -hmm. and then you got the, the ones that want to take their guns away. And a lot of people are just neutral, you know. Yeah. And they see on TV that, well, you know, the school got shut up, mm -hmm. and we got to do something, you know, yeah. so they go along with it. Yeah. So we got to we got to let them know our side, too. Yeah, don't be neutral. Mm -hmm. I, You know, I always say that you don't have anything that you can't mm -hmm. defend. Right. So, and uh, you know, a lot of times people, it's, it's mostly guys, mm -hmm. they'll write to me and they'll say, you know, I want a gun in the house, but the wife's against me. You know, she right. says the police can come and protect us. Mm -hmm. And I tell them, if you got a really good police department, mm -hmm. they'll be there in five minutes. Yeah. I say, sit your wife down, face in the clock, and tell her to somebody just kicked the door in. Mm -hmm. After about 30 seconds, she's going to realize the police ain't going to do nothing show up and run around yeah. her body. Exactly. So, and yeah. it always works. That's a good idea. Works. That's a good idea. Thanks a lot, Jeff. I don't want to keep well, you. I know you. the shows, you know, you want to get out yeah, there to the show. Up, so. Okay. Like, share, subscribe. Peace out. All right, thanks, man.